Welcome to Farlabber Drive Time. In this video, I will talk about the difference between the Farlabber stepper motor technologies called AM and DM. We'll see what's inside the different motors, what are the benefits of each technology, and finally, some typical applications where one solution would be better than the other. There are different stepper motors in the Farlabber portfolio. Our motors range from 6 to 66 mm diameter, and both technologies are not necessarily available in the entire range of sizes. However, in the lower range, when several motors' diameter are acceptable in an application, the choice of the motor can be done depending on the technology, as one could be a better fit based on the requirements. Although all Falaber stepper motors are two-phase permanent magnet stepper motors and can all be controlled in the same ways, the two technologies have a different architecture with different characteristics and advantages. The first type of stepper motor available is called AM, which is a historical name. In this technology, we slot the magnet in the motor rim. Currently, this motor type comes in 8, 10, 15, 22 and 32 mm. These motors have between 20 and 48 full steps per revolution, depending on their size. Uh, as we can see, uh, there is a coil on each side of the rotor one for the A phase and one for the B phase. The rotor is made of a rim with two rows of magnets so that the rotor is self-centered. The particularity of this technology is a high torque to volume ratio. The second type of motor is the DM type and the technology behind it is disc magnet. Currently, this technology comes in the smaller diameter 6 and 12 mm and they both have 20 full steps per revolution. We see that there are four coils, two coils per phase are connected together and they are all on the same side of the rotor. This is why for these motors, the back side bearing always has to be a ball bearing. Only the front bearing can be replaced by a sintered bearing if desired. We also see that the rotor has a disc magnet, which is magnetized with alternative segments. The advantage of this design is a low residual or cogging torque and an increased angular accuracy. This also means that the motor has a smoother motion, especially when working in micro-stepping mode at low speed. So, it is ideal for very demanding and accurate positioning applications. We also have two larger motors with a DM designation, the DM4000 and the DM5200. They both have 100 full steps per revolution. From their name, we can also see that the rotor is made with a disc magnet design. However, we can see here that they are made of two half stators, each containing two coils. These motors come with eight wires, which can be connected in serial or parallel. Each half stator can also be connected and controlled independently in order to have redundancy for application where it is required. The main advantage of these larger disc magnet motors is their high acceleration. Due to the very low inertia of their rotor, they have the fastest acceleration of all our stepper motor and are capable of extremely rapid changes of direction. It is ideal for application where fast shuttle motion is required. There is one last motor in the follow-up portfolio which uses the disc magnet technology the DM66200H. It has an outer diameter of 66 mm, 200 steps per revolution, and the H stands for hollow. Its hollow shaft has an inner diameter of 40 mm, shaping it like a ring. Here we can see that the magnet is also shaped like a ring and that several coils per phase are used. It is a unique addition to our portfolio, which is perfect for direct drive application, which requires to pass cable, light, fluid, or anything else through the axis. For more information about that motor, we invite you to look at our how-to video dedicated to this motor. All our different stepper motors can be used for a large variety of applications. There are some requirements like the maximum available diameter or the required torque, which will often govern the choice of motor. However, when several possibilities are acceptable, depending on the needs and requirements of the application, some technology might be a better fit. For example, if the application is an optical application which requires to position lenses very accurately and with as little vibrations as possible, then the DM technology will be ideal and the DM620 or DM1220 should be prioritized, if they can meet the desired working point of course. Compared to the AMA20 or AM1020, the angular accuracy of the DM620 is two times better and the one of the DM1220 is three times better. On the contrary, if we have another positioning application, but this time the most important requirement is the highest possible dynamic torque in the minimum possible weight and volume, then the AM technology would be more suitable. If we compare the torque speed curve of the AM1020 and the DM1220, 
we see that even if the AM1020 is smaller in size, it is able to provide higher torque at medium and high speed. For example, at 10,000 RPM and nominal current, the AM1020 will be able to provide 1 mN torque, while the DM1220 will be limited to 0.4 mN. Finally, if an application is battery powered and requires to keep a position while minimizing the required holding current, then the AM technology would be more suited than the DM technology, as it has a higher residual or cogging torque, which might already be enough to hold the position. It could also be complemented only by a small current to add some holding torque. Again, if we compare the DM1220 and the AM1020, we see that their residual torque has a factor of 2. In summary, in the lower diameter range of 6 to 15 mm, you have the choice between AM and DM technology. DM technology is more suitable if you need more dynamic torque or more residual or cogging torque. On the other hand, the DM technology will be more suitable if you require the best possible accuracy. Do not hesitate to get in contact with us if you have further questions or need support to select a motor for your applications. Thank you for watching Farlaba Drive Time and see you another time.